essential geometry. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the transformation golf activity. So you'll start by using the link in the assignment to open Desmos. You have an account created using your Minos account. So log in and it should open up our class, Essential Geometry. Um, you might see some other assignments, but the main activity we're going to be doing right now is called Transformation Golf Rigid Motion. So click on where it says Start. Um, make sure that, again, that you are logged in with your name. Um, this is going to save your progress, so there's nothing you need to submit. So in this activity, you'll be taking the purple shape, which is called the pre-image, and you need to do transformations to make it line up with the white shape, which is called the image. Now, there are some obstacles, um, sometimes walls or just blocks. You cannot translate through them. You cannot rotate through them, but you can reflect or flip over them. Let's look at one together. Now, there are going to be multiple ways you can do each puzzle. Um, you'll maybe want to make a plan first of how you're going to do it. Now, I notice here I want to get the purple L up to the white L. I notice they're facing in the same direction, so it hasn't been reflected. Also, it hasn't been turned, so that means I'm going to translate to get there. I could translate up and then right, or I could go right and then up. So I'm going to click on translate. When I click on translate, they give me an arrow that shows me which direction to move. Again, I can't go diagonally because I'd hit that block. So I'm going to go and I'm going to show how far I want it to move right. So I'm looking at the end tip of this L, and I'm going to move it so I line up with the end tip of the white L. So I put my arrow, click Submit, and it will move over. If I didn't like what I did, I could edit it, maybe change how far I moved, or I could get rid of it completely and start over. I feel like this is a good start. Now I need to move up. So again, I'm going to translate. I'm going to make it move up. So I'm going from the tip there to the tip there. I'm just showing it where to move. Click Submit, and you'll notice it lines up. It will let you know when you've successfully done it. Um, again, there's more than one way, but I'll be able to see um, when I log in here. I can press play and it will show me how you did yours. And then you'll click Next to move on to the next activity. Let's talk through a, through a few more of these together. Um, so you'll notice here we're going from the purple again down to the white. Um, one thing I'll notice is it's kind of upside down. So I know it's going to be more than a translation. Um, think about if a reflection or a rotation would work. Um, again, you might have to just try them and see. So imagine if you think a reflection would work. Um, for a reflection, I can adjust how I'm going to flip over what line. So if I wanted to flip side to side, or if I wanted to flip up and down. So I adjust the line, and then I click Submit. Okay. Now, that's not quite there, but maybe you could figure out um, a way to do something else and get it over to the white. Um, I'm going to try something different, so I'm going to clear that. Um, let's try what it looks like if I rotate. So when I rotate, I can change the center or the point I turn around. I can change the direction. So clockwise spins the way a clock would. Counterclockwise spins the opposite of a clock. And I can change how far I go. Um, let's just leave it as it was set up, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, you can see how that turned. 
So again, not exactly where I want to go. So I could either go back in here and rotate, either change direction or degrees, or again, I could X this out and start over. Okay, when you get it to line up with your white shape, it will tell you success and then you'll move on. There are some that you can skip. Um, the ones that say settle a dispute, um, you may skip them or you can give it a try. It doesn't count against you. Some of them will also ask you to describe your strategy. So on this one, number five, um, first you want to describe what you think you're going to do. Uh, notice there's that black wall. Remember, the only way to get over the wall is to reflect. So I might say that my strategy is first reflect over the wall. After I flip over the wall, um, I'm going to be pointing in the wrong direction. So I know I'm going to have to do something else. Maybe you're not sure exactly what, um, but then make a guess as to what your next statement so for example, maybe you think that you'll have to rotate. Okay, so come up with your best plan. It doesn't matter if it's exactly correct. When you go to the next slide, you're actually gonna try that. So here you're gonna try the steps that you thought out. Don't worry if the um, plan you made was wrong, um, but try different things here in order to get the blue, the purple shape to line up with the white one. So again, we are gonna have to reflect and then do some turning. On screen seven, we get to challenge number four. Um, this one, we're definitely gonna have to do multiple things to get our purple shape up to the white. There's not one single right answer. For example, maybe you wanna translate and move it around the black boxes. I could translate left and then translate up, but I'd be pointing in the wrong direction. So I'd have to do a reflection. Or maybe you wanna go over those black boxes. The way to go over the black boxes is by a reflection. So maybe you wanna flip over one box and then the other box. Um, and again, you might have to do rotations, reflections um, at the end. So it's okay to try something and have it not work. And then just try something else. Slide eight, you may skip. Slide nine, again, wants you to describe. So what do you think you'll do? Um, these black lines here. Um, again, are like walls, so we know we'll have to flip over that. So describe what you'll do here. And on slide 10, actually give it a try. So do some reflections um, and see how you can make the purple shape line up with the white. In so slide 11, um, this time we're going from the purple, again, on the right, over to the white, which is on the left. We're definitely going to have to reflect to get over the wall. So again, I can change the direction of my mirror. But notice now when I reflect, um, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. So I'm gonna have to reflect again to get pointing in the right direction. Slide 12, is it possible? You may skip. On slide 13, describe what you think you're going to do. Again, if the L's pointed in the wrong direction, you're probably going to need to do a, a reflection. You'll try that out and get it lined up in number 14. You can skip slide 15, which is challenge number eight, um, but I'm actually going to go through it um, just because I wanna show you some of the thinking that you might go into. 
So I want to get the purple onto the white. Um, remember, I can't go over these big black squares. So I want to be able to maybe sneak in between here um, by doing a translation. So I need to get my shape to lay flat on its side. So I'm going to rotate. Um, but I actually want to rotate from over there. And I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Oh, I'm still a little bit high because this top part of my L is going to hit. So I want to translate and move that down. So I'm going to move that down just one square. Okay. Now the reason I did that is now I can sneak through this gap. So I'm going to move over and translate again. I want to move this L all the way over there. Okay, so I moved it around those blocks, but I'm in the wrong direction. So I'm going to reflect that over that line to make it line up. So again, you can skip this one or you can follow my steps to get it to work. In number 16. Um, here we're looking at what things never change. Remember, the key thing when we translate, rotate, and reflect is that the size does not change. So we're still going to have an L. All the sides will be the same length. And they're all still going to be right angles in the shape of my L. So the size and general shape will not change. You may skip. Number 17, you may also skip number 19, or number 18, excuse me. But then I do want you to go to number 19. And what I want is you to just explore and make some sort of design. So I want to be able to see that you did at least two of every move. So I want you to do multiple translations, multiple reflections, and multiple rotations. Um, this is just a good chance to kind of experiment and see what it will do. Again, I should be able to click play all and it will show me your moves. I hope that this is a fun way to explore and play with translations or, and transformations.